Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome to ELSI Castle. I hope you all are doing great. Braston Bald is the highest point in the US state of Georgia and we did a day trip to this mountain recently. It was a spectacular view and I do not want you to miss that. Also, a delicious Kerala fish curry recipe is in the latter part of the video. I hope you all will like it. Watch and enjoy. It was a cold and sunny day, a perfect weather to go to the mountains. Fall is the favorite season for most of the people and I am no different. Especially taking a scenic fall drive is definitely on my bucket list every year. The colors hasn't completely changed yet but the drive was beautiful because we saw a lot of leaves falling from the tree on the way. I don't think the camera has made any justice to the real colors but what we saw in real was definitely much better than this. Here we are at the destination and the kids got so excited despite the chilly weather. It was almost an hour and a half drive. This is our second time being here but for Yale and Desai this is the first time. To reach the highest peak point you can either go by shuttle or you can go trekking. Obviously, we opted shuttle this time because it's hard for the kids to climb. They have some eagles and owls there and she called it a home bird because they feed them and let them go away and they'll come back it seems. I cannot put it in words of how beautiful it was but I would say it's worth driving if you are living in Atlanta at least for once. As usual, Yel had a lot of questions about this place and Isai was running all over, we had to chase her but we totally enjoyed it. It was an amazing trip and for lunch we grabbed something from outside. Like I said earlier, I do not prefer cooking and packing when we are going outside. But on our way back, we were craving for some comfort food. So soon after we reached home, I got refreshed and started preparing dinner. This Kerala fish curry is one of our favorites. And usually when we get bored of Tamil Nadu style of fish curry, I prefer making that and it goes very well with the red rice. For preparing that into a blender, I added some shredded coconut, then goes some turmeric powder, red chili powder, and some coriander powder. Add 
warm water and blend it well. Isai is also on the family meal so I don't have to worry about uh, cooking something different for her. If she feels it spicy I will add a little bit curd and she likes it. Here I am chopping some onions and ginger. You can even grind them in the mortar and pestle. It gives a nice flavor. Now add everything into a pan and give it a good mix. Since we added coconut, the curry gets thicker. So add generous amount of water but not too much. Add some curry leaves and green chilies. It's a very easy and tasty recipe. If you have never tried Kerala fish curry, I would recommend you to try this recipe. Cover and let it cook. Meanwhile, I'm preparing a simple masala for the fish fry. Into a bowl, I added red chilli powder, garlic powder, salt and some rice flour. Add some water and give it a good mix. Now add the tamarind juice and salt and let it cook for some more time. Marinate the fish pieces and keep it aside. Adding fish pieces into the curry and cook for just 5 more minutes and it's done. We just need to do the tempering. For tempering, add coconut oil, some mustard seeds, curry leaves and shallots for good taste. Here I am using red onions. Add into the curry and cover it quickly to retain the flavor. I'm shallow frying the fish pieces using coconut oil by adding some curry leaves. And that's about it. I hope you really enjoyed watching today's video. If so, do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing and join the journey. Thank you so much for joining today. I will see you all in another interesting vlog. Until then, it's Priya signing off.